What's up guys and welcome back to Planet Zoo. Business is booming, baby. Our zoo is expanding. This is episode four. We have added in three species of animals so far. We've got aardvarks who have been going at it, producing babies, making us them credits. We're releasing aardvarks into the wild, not like they're really very endangered, but at least it's making our zoo look good. So that's that's been positive. We've got these African buffalo here, which are doing pretty well. I still, I want to find a male on the market if we can one that doesn't cost credits though i mean we we've got 592 looks like the cheapest one is 1500 oh but that's a female of course the males cost more so we need to save up for that in our last episode we got a bunch of wild african dogs which is very exciting you guys can see they're all super super cute and uh oh man dude i i just can't take those ears they love to play, they love to run around, they love to mess with each other, and uh, things are going well. But the one thing that we are kind of suffering with is our staff. So if we take a look at our staff here, you guys will see that overall happiness is pretty good, but energy is bad, and uh, a lot of them don't even really have, like, space to go and do staff things. This is our first little staff area right here. It's worked well for us so far, but we're growing and we've got a bigger park now, so to have these guys run all the way back over here when they're doing work like over here just doesn't make sense. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be making a new staff area as well as a new like concessions, food, you know, uh, gift shop type area. So we already had this food court in mind when we started this zoo, and that's this long, long fat piece right here. I think we're just gonna have them lined up where we have vendors and, and exhibits and stuff like that. And it's gonna be kind of like a, a central point. Like you walk in the zoo from over here, and obviously you've got a, a few exhibits that you're first greeted with, but you've gotta get in the park. So you, you kind of walk around a little bit, you go around this way, and then this is the major food court, the major hangout area, et cetera, et cetera. And then from there, I mean, we can we can branch off and have more exhibits over here. We can have more exhibits way over here. You know, we, we can kind of branch off and do our thing. So I, I think we're gonna make a staff area. I'm thinking maybe, maybe we do it behind the food court. Maybe we build the food court along this and then a staff area behind it. Cause that way they have access to all different sections of the park. That's that's kind of where I, where I think I'm at. Now I, I do, Let's add a couple of things here. I do want to add some some benches. We didn't add any benches on the, the wild dogs in the last one. So we're going to add some benches along here. One on every corner or so. Just like that. And then we also need uh, we need some some bins. So I'm gonna put uh, I'm gonna put some bins here before I forget about it. Let's let's actually let's center those a little bit. Okay, so that that looks a little bit better. But yeah, I, I'm thinking I, I guess let's just start with the food court, man. We've got sixty six thousand dollars, like Life is, is treating us pretty well. Things are going pretty well. Our aardvark is already popping out some babies again, which is amazing. And uh, man, I mean, all of our animals are happy. Some could be better than others, but overall, uh, overall things are good. Uh-oh, this might be the last research we need for, for enrichment for the wild dogs. Let me check our habitat here. Blood scent marker enrichment, or we've got a rotation line feeder. I feel like the blood scent marker sounds pretty cool. So I'm going to put this over here, and that should, we just got an achievement for Enriched. Look at all these sleeping little doggos. Oh my god, stop it. Dude, he's waking up. Oh, that is so cute. But yeah, if we take a look, that's going to take us 80% Enrichment. It, we're still not getting to 100. I don't know why it's not working. Anyway, let's not worry about that. Let's worry about, uh, oh, we're about to have some puppies. I'm going to lose my mind. When that actually happens, I am I am fully losing my mind. But here we go, okay. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna start off with some guest facilities. And we've been doing some research on the African kind of theme. So we should be able to, to theme this out pretty well. So we're gonna come into guest facilities here. We've got an Africa shop small, an African toilet large. And then actually that's all we have. I was hoping we were gonna have more Africa themed things, but we might have to upgrade that. As, uh, as time goes on. So I'm gonna say let's let's start with some, obviously bathrooms are important. This is gonna be the, the start of our, our little area. How should we do it? I'm gonna go ahead and, I'm gonna put it there. Just like that. All right, so we've got some beautiful bathrooms right there. That is honestly really, really impressive. Those look fantastic. So that looks good. Uh oh, what's going on here? Fighting for alpha status. 
That's fine. Unfortunately, that's just a uh, that's a part of what they do. Looks like the barrier's not looking good here. I'm gonna call the mechanic. We need the mechanic to be better about this. I'm gonna say let's let's have him visit every six months. I'm gonna have him visit every six months on all of our things. Cause I feel like I feel like our barriers and fences usually fall apart pretty quick. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put an ATM on this side. Obviously that's gonna make sense. People are gonna want to grab some money, and actually we should probably put an ATM towards the front of the park as well. I didn't even think about that until now. But people should grab some money that they're gonna throw in our tip jars. So that's that's definitely very very important. I just realized we don't even have any power over here yet. So this is um, this is gonna be an issue. I'm gonna let's fast forward till it's daytime. And then we'll worry about this. We can actually see what's going on. We do have an inspector in here. Looks like, uh, looks like we're getting all five stars so far. Dude, I'm feeling pretty good about this zoo. Like, we're, it's, it's, it's a good start. Oh, shoot. We got our only four star there, but that's fine. Average of, like, 4.3 stars. That's, uh, that's, that's not too bad. Look at these guys up on Pride Rock. <laughs> it's so cute, man. Oh, do we have the puppy yet? <gasps> no! Dude, stop it! He's so cute! You're gonna grow up to be big and strong. Wait, are you a guy or a girl? You're a girl. You're gonna grow up to be so beautiful and big and strong if that's what you want. Oh, look at her. I'm sorry I'm obsessing over this little thing right here. So the good news is, is like, you know, obviously the aardvarks when they have the baby, once the baby matures, they don't like that baby anymore because it just... It's, you know, they, they like a certain number of animals in their in their little enclosure. Um, these guys are fine with like up to 30 animals. Now, they're, you've got to watch the male to female ratio, of course. But um, she's going to be something that we're going to be able to keep her for a while. And then she can breed and we can have more of them and release more to the wild and that sort of thing. Which is um, definitely very exciting. So, that's uh, that's good stuff, dude. That That is an awesome addition to the zoo. And now she's doing her business. Okay, cool. So... It's daytime now. Let's take a look at what we want to do for all of our, our facilities and stuff here. So, we've got a few options. Cheap beef, cosmic cow ice cream, gulpy soda, hot dog squad, an information center, Looney Bloons, Missy Good, Pizza Pin. And then, of course, we've got all of the, the traditional traditional ones here as well so obviously we're gonna we're gonna go for the themed ones so i'm gonna say should we just do one of everything i mean we've got seventy one thousand dollars. the problem is it's gonna start to get pretty expensive to staff them so maybe we should do a chief beef a gulpy and an ice cream and then also a loony balloons and is there anything else so i'm gonna say next to the restrooms we could put a chief beef right here Chief Beef. I'm gonna put a little gulpy soda next to it. And then we could put a, uh, a Cosmic Cow ice cream right there. <laughs> and then we can throw these things right over top of it. Just like, uh, just like this. So that, that already looks, that already looks fantastic, man. How come they're not, do you guys see how they're not really... I mean, our stores are lined up, but our, our actual thing is not very lined up. Just gotta take our time a little bit more and make sure we line it up fully. And I uh, feel like, uh, I feel like that looks pretty good. All right, so we've got all three of those lined up and right next to the bathroom. So when you eat that super horrible overpriced theme park food, then you have quick access to where you're trying to go, which is uh, is nice. We could come in here to nature and let's take a look at the, the African continent and, um, and probably, you know, tropical grassland type. What do we want to put? Do we have any cool bushes or anything? We could put some elephant grass here and then put some some little little flowers around it just to kind of fill up that space. I'm gonna put the ATM right here, right in front of a nice little display of, of flowers and stuff. That's awesome, dude. Like, yeah, enjoy this beautiful scene, but give us your money. Thank you. Okay, cool. Now, now what we're gonna do is is like I said, I think I think we're gonna take these additional things, the loony balloons. Let's put these, um, let's put these along this, along this area as well. Boom, there it is, beautiful. All right, so that, that looks pretty good right there. I like that so far. Now what I'm gonna do is we are gonna come in and we need, uh, I don't even know, how do you, oh, small animal exhibits. You just buy the exhibit and then you, you put the little, little thing over it, okay? So this is gonna be cool. So we've got one down there. Can we take a path? And can we build a path right next to that is my question? Can we just go... 
No, but we can have it do that, which is kind of cool. Bam, just like that. That looks pretty good. So you've got kind of like a little additional viewing area. You can go around the side if you want to. I, uh, I kind of like where we're, we're going with that. So we've got all this set up. We need four vendors. We need some power. We need water treatment. We need all kinds of stuff. And I'm thinking, I think we should put the staff buildings back here. I just, I think they're gonna be way more masked back here. Really, I wanted to put some staff buildings over more towards the wild dogs, but I guess what we could do is let's delete, let's delete this. We could put a, a habitat gate right here. Let's not be too weird about it. We could put a habitat gate right there. And then if we have a staff path that comes off over here, I just feel like if it's back behind this, it's gonna be a lot better hidden than it would be if it were back here and we'd have to put up some crazy plants and stuff like that. So I feel like that makes sense. So we're gonna build a new staff path. Go ahead and grab these. We go with the gray. I'm gonna put a, uh, a keeper hut here, just like that. I don't think we need a, an extra quarantine and stuff. I, I think we're good on that so far. I'm gonna put a second research center. We actually might, we might want a second keeper hut. Um, staff room, we're definitely gonna need at least two staff rooms. Dude, this is so sick. I love it. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put a staff room on each side. Seriously though, like how, how cool are these buildings, dude? This is so well done. They've got like little hangout areas and hammocks for the staff and stuff. That is awesome. So we've got all that. Dude, we are kind of blowing through money right now. A workshop, vet surgery, trade center. We don't need another one. Uh, I guess we could probably do another workshop if we end up hiring another mechanic. I'm gonna line that up uh, right like that. Make sure it's looking good. All right, so that's good. Now let me see. I guess we're gonna have to do a. a we're gonna have to do something electric as well. We're gonna need. Um, we're gonna need utilities. So I'm gonna go for a transformer. We're gonna hook this up and set this up right. Right here, I guess. Now let me see from a guest perspective. Looks like we're okay. Looks like it's not actually affecting anybody. So we should have power. These things should be open. Oh yeah, they're open. They came with vendors and everything. I, I thought we were gonna have to hire vendors, but they came with vendors. Okay, that's a good thing. That is a very, very, very good thing. We're probably gonna have to start setting up some work areas to make sure people stay on certain sides of the map and have some keepers dedicated to like the animals, like the, the dogs and stuff over on the left side, some dedicated to over here with this staff area. I'm gonna say let's hire another vet, let's hire another mechanic, and let's maybe hire another keeper and caretaker. Cause we just, we, we don't want people to start, we don't want people to start running out of juice you know what i mean like it's it's easy to get kind of overwhelmed so i'm gonna go mechanic vet and then we're gonna go uh caretaker and keeper we want to split the workload evenly we don't want people to become too overwhelmed uh-oh serious injury discovered we are uh we're gonna have to call the vet good thing we just hired a new one and then on top of that that way since we have multiple when they're not actually working on anything else we can have them researching on like the other stuff that we want to research on. So that's that's pretty cool. All right, looking good there. We've already got some people coming back here, getting their grub on and stuff. Now let's take a look. What do we want to do for these animals? We're going to view the animal exhibit market. I'm going to say, ooh, these are pretty insane. Death adders, eastern brown snakes, burrowing bugs, snails, gila monsters. Dude, he he looks pretty legit. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for the less or the the slightly more expensive one though, because he's got a lot more life in him. So I'm I'm gonna go ahead and adopt this Gila monster. Let's send to the zoo. Send him to exhibit 13. Looks good. Layout. He wants to be a little bit better. Let me see. What does he like? What does he like for climate? He likes it at 39 degrees, which it is currently. Humidity. Looks like we need to bring it up to maybe 15% might make him happy. Yeah, that looks good. And now what we're gonna be able to, oh shoot, somebody let a balloon go. Now what we're gonna be able to do is bring our new, um, uh oh, dude, we have so much stuff going on right now. Bring our new, our new vets. We can put them on the Gila monster to work on his layout a little bit. So that's gonna be exciting. Uh oh, broken barrier. Looks like a, a mechanic is already on it though. So we're okay. Serious injury, we already took care of that though. All right, cool.
cool. We're good. So we've got that, and then I'm gonna say, let's take a look at the, the animal market again. I'm gonna say a boa constrictor. A boa constrictor's, dude, that, like, that's, that's sick. Let's sort it by what's gonna bring in the most people. Ooh. Ooh. Puff adder. I'm gonna go boa constrictor. I feel like boa constrictor's the coolest thing, man. Western diamondback. Let's go with the boa. Send to the zoo. Bada bing, bada boom. Look at him. Let's see where he is. Let's see where he is. Oh man, look at him down there. Oh yeah. Get in there, bud. You look awesome. Can I see your camera? Nice. That's awesome. Okay, so we've got him. Layout's not looking good. Temperature's not looking good. Humidity's not looking good. So we're gonna have to fix that really quick. He likes it to be less than 39. So I'm gonna put it to about a 30. Probably about a 30. And then humidity, he wants to to bring way up. 30's about right. Humidity's gonna have to be about a 75, I think. No, maybe not a 75. He's gonna be happy around. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say 73. Oop, that took it down to 68. 73. That thing is very sensitive. Again, though, we need better layouts and stuff. So we need to get we need to get our vets researching on these guys. But that's kind of exciting. Things are looking good. We spent a lot of money there, but it looks like our profit is gonna end up going up. I'm gonna go ahead, let's let's fast forward a little bit just to kind of let things settle, see how this all ends up working out. I'm interested to see if we're gonna have to hire more vendors or anything like that. The one thing we are definitely gonna have to do is we're gonna have to build a staff path off this way and we need a water treatment plant. So let's just go staff path. We can make it a very skinny one. We're just gonna bring it, bring it right off here. Nothing, uh, nothing too crazy. We just want to put a little water treatment plant out here to be able to take care of our wild dogs and their water. Just need it to clean their water. Uh-oh. I don't know why he was in the box, but I'm sorry about that. But, um, yeah, dude, things, things are looking pretty good. I'm, I'm liking what we're working with so far. I think we do need to add some trees and plants and stuff like that around this area. But, um, overall things, things are looking solid. So we're gonna, oops. If you say hello to the VIP guests, then you get free credits. But uh, I think what we're gonna do is just kind of let this run a little bit, let it, let them do some research on the snakes and the Gila monster, and then we'll um, we'll come back in a second and uh, and fix up their little their little exhibits. We've actually got uh, I didn't even realize these came with this, but we we've got built-in informational educational panels here. So we're gonna be able to put put these guys like that. And then uh, we definitely, I mean, if we come into our facilities, we definitely wanna add some tip jars, probably one right in the middle. And then we could also put one here and here. Um, that looks pretty good. We could probably put a speaker here and here. And then we could set those up for the respective animals. So the Gila on that side, as well as the uh, the Boa on this side. That looks pretty good. We want to get, uh, I mean, these guys are definitely going to want some places to eat their food. So we probably need some, some picnic benches and stuff. I'm going to set up some benches probably along here like this. Dude, I'm just so proud of what we've built here. Like this honestly looks really, really good. And we're making good money. We're up to $11,000 profit. Oh. This is, dude, this is solid. This is, this is looking really, really good. So I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing. I mean, our, our wild dogs are just continuing to fight, but that's what they do. That's like the only negative part, but things are going well. Our research is flying off the charts. It's so nice having multiple vets. Like they, they're getting so much done here. We're almost done. If we go back to our vet research, we're almost done with the Gila monster. Yeah, we've got Gila and Boa Constrictor completely completed. So now we're gonna start working on these diseases, which is obviously gonna be really good. But let's go in and let's, uh, I'm gonna slow this down. Let's take a look. I can't ever really even see, I don't even see the Gila monster, dude. Like where? Where's the Gila monster? Do you guys see him? If I turn on, let me let me take a look at our animals, animal welfare. Yeah, I don't even see him in there. I don't I don't know that he's in there, but we're going to mess with his layout to make him a little bit happier. So I'm going to give him some hiding places. 
I'm gonna say, let's go hiding place C. We're gonna give him a basking lamp. I'm gonna do a basking lamp up front so people go and look at him, and maybe a lower one as well. We could do a fallen tree. How is he looking there? Does he like that a little bit better? Oh yeah, temperature's not perfect. He wants a little bit higher temperature, so I'm gonna bring that up to like a 30, 38. There we go, okay. So that looks a little bit better. Hopefully we could find him in those basking lamps. I just, I don't even see him, dude. He's like invisible. Now we're gonna come over here to our boy, uh, what's his name? I don't see his name. Just says boa constrictor. Layout's not looking good though. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here. Oh, Diego is his name. That's awesome. So we're gonna come in. Let's let's take a look at layout. We can have tropical plants. A, B. I mean, those look pretty cool. C. We don't want it to get too congested though. We could go with a trunk. We could go with a thin log. And then some basking lamps. Hmm. I'm gonna say let's go with a low basking lamp. How does how does that seem, buddy? What do you what do you feel in there? Oh, he's a hundred percent happy. Literally a hundred percent. Like happy as a clam. He just he loves his new little spot. And I love him too. Diego, you're the man, bro. Alright, look at that. Brand new day. We're making tons of money. We've got more people in the zoo than we've ever had before. All of our animals are happy. Our profit is appearing. I wish it gave you like a current, like, right at this moment, are you plus or negative? I guess that's probably what, but I, I don't know what the time frame on this is. Like, is it per second? Is it per minute? It should give you like per minute or something. We've got fighting due to out overcrowding going on with the aardvarks, which means we are going to have to release the baby to the wild. That's the adult mom. That's the adult dad. Here's the baby. So we are going to go ahead and, uh... Release the animal into the wild. 194 credits. Looks good to me. Now, the problem is, I think mom and dad are starting to get a little bit old. They are officially elderly. We honestly probably should have kept that baby. And we probably could have breeded him. But I guess... I guess we'll see what happens. Maybe they'll provide us with one more. I don't, I don't think they're going to be able to have another one when they're considered elderly, though. So, we may just have to wait until they die. I hate to say that. But uh, we'll wait until they die, and then we'll we'll get some new ones. So last but not least, I am gonna add a little bit of uh, a little bit of you know kind of the the final P's and Q's, cross our T's, dot our I's, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna what's it called? We're gonna just kind of make things a little a little more beautiful. So I'm gonna try adding some water here. That looks pretty good. I hate it when the water turns brown though. So can we come into terrain and can we put? Can we put some some grass on the bottom of that? I'm kind of hoping we can. Oh yeah, let's let's do some grass through here. Gonna make it look look pretty nice. We're gonna add some flowers and stuff to it too. So we've got a little lake there, and then let's take a look at our nature and see what we could do. I mean, we can make this a very tropical type vibe. Might be kind of cool. Oh yeah, I like something like that. Let's add that. The reeds kind of kill it a little bit. I want like nice, bright, tropical colors here. So maybe some of these these bushes here. Put these underneath right like that. I mean, it doesn't have to be anything crazy, but I'm just, I'm trying to add something, you know? I'm thinking maybe we could come in, we could go to our facilities, we could add a, a bench. I feel like that looks pretty good. We could do a security camera. That's kind of cool, just because we haven't used it yet. So we'll put a security camera right here. We should probably put a security camera up at the entrance. That's honestly something that I never even thought about. So I'm gonna put a, a security camera right here. We're gonna wanna put a, um, almost forgot about this. We're gonna wanna put, put a shell over this. Boom, look at that, beautiful. I like it, it's not on there. Oh shoot, it's not, it's actually not on there at all. I was gonna say it's not on there perfectly, but it's not, not very good at all. There we go. That looks a little bit better. Not perfect, but I don't know if we're gonna get perfect. I think I am gonna go ahead and loop the staff path on around this way. I just feel like, I feel like that, oh shoot, what is happening here? Let's just have it, can we not just have it go, oh, this is, this is a mess. I just want it to go straight beautiful. So that way they can access it from both sides and kind of walk through. Um, we don't have a quarantine. I'm just gonna build a quarantine 
because it keeps asking me to build one. There's a pop-up that comes up over there. So let's um let's just build a let's build a small a small quarantine here. We could put that over on this side. Put a little African themed quarantine there and then let's go ahead and move this back next to that quarantine. Looks good. So now we've got a quarantine so we're not going to have to worry about that anymore. And uh, that kind of completes our staff path a little bit. We could probably, I don't know how many bushes I want to put here though. Let's at least put some bushes for now. I don't know if we want to build more staff buildings in that area though. So I'm not going to go too crazy. Do we want palms? Do we want big fat bushes? Do we want reeds? Do we want elephant grass? I feel like elephant grass is pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. Strips of elephant grass. Yeah, that's that's pretty, but it's a good way of completely blocking it off so they can't they can't see anything that's happening back there. To be honest, kind of a cheap way to do it, but I'm, I'm thinking for now that's good. We may end up changing that in the future, but at least that way, I mean, if you're enjoying your, your meal and stuff over here, you aren't going to have to worry about seeing all the staff buildings back there. So that's good. Uh, we definitely need something similar here. I mean, that to be honest, the elephant grass looks good and works really well. So I'm thinking we might do a, a similar thing here. It just, it's its really well themed. I mean, this is, this is Africa, man. Of course, we're gonna have elephant grass around here. This stuff would be naturally growing here. So why not use it as a, a blocker so all these peeping toms can't see anything. So boom, that, that does, that does look pretty solid. We could even put some back here as well. Kind of have this fully, fully blocked off. So that way, I mean, the, the guests literally cannot, cannot see the staff buildings unless you're right here, which is not the worst thing in the world. So boom, there you guys have it. I mean, things, things are, are looking up. We're making a lot of money. The animals are happy. We, we've got a full concessions and new staff area built that's all really well themed and, and overall looks really, really good. We've got our first exhibit animals here and they're both very happy as well. Look at that 100% welfare on both of them. Oh man, that is just what you love to see. So hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'm going to see you guys in our next episode. Peace out.